Gyra Showground for the uh, major semi final between Imrel and Glen Innes in the junior division. Um, Imrel being led out by his captain Damien Connor. Um, we'll just run through the side. Fullback is uh, Jay Cook, Reg Spencer on one wing, Butterdean and Gwen are the centres. Uh, Dave Kent's the other winger. Ray Craig at 5'8, John McLennan is the halfback. Damien Connor is, is uh, front row and captain. Brad Higgins is the hooker, Marcus Woodby the other front rower. Butcher and uh, Glenn is out, I think. Butcher is one second rower. Uh, and also Phil Bailey's down to play lock, but I don't think Phil's playing in the junior division today. We've got, um, uh, who we got out there? We've got um, Jeremy uh, East is out there, so I presume he might be playing at lock. And just trying to find who the other fella is. It looks like uh, Zabax may be playing in the second row. <laughs> As they welcome the uh, Glen Innes boys onto the ground, um, the fullback is T. Levy, Walters and uh, Murdoch are the wingers, Rumming and Levy in the, uh, the centres. That's uh, Nathan Levy, Barnes is the 5'8", Stewart is halfback, Frendon and uh, Smirthway to the front rowers, Eshman the hooker, um, Langford and Poulton are the second rowers, and Rummery is the lock forward. The referee the, uh, for the game is uh, Mr Kentwell, and uh, the boys are all keyed up here and ready for the major semi-final here today. Toss has been uh, run and won, and looks like um, Imbrell have won the toss and have elected to run uphill in the first half. Glen Innes to kick off. Um, over on the bench on the Imbrell side, I can see it um, uh, looks like Andrews has one replacement. Justin McElwain makes his return today from injury, and um, it's all augurs well for a, a good game here today. The referee signals to the captains. Nathan Levy to kick off for Glen Innes. Puts the ball deep downfield. Down to Connor. That's, it's uh, gone dead. Been touched by uh, Damien Connor. And Inverell will drop out in their own quarter line, uh, her own uh, goal line. That's a good start for Glen Innes. Yeah, it's a good drop kick by Sheeta too. Right out to Nathan Levy. Nathan Levy gets it on to uh, the front rower, uh, Smirthwaite, and he's down. A good tackle from Butcher and uh, James Sheeta. Plays the ball back. Out it comes to uh, Stewart, the, the halfback, and he's put down a good tackle. Going over the top and uh, Ray Craig underneath. There's the ball out from Eshman. Goes on to uh, Langford, and Langford's put down in a good tackle again by Sheeta. Out to Stewart again, and uh, there's the 5'8 Barnes with the ball. Now a good tackle by Connor coming across over the top and uh, puts him down heavily. He felt that tackle. Played back to Eshman again, and uh, the winger there, he didn't want much to do with it, Walters, and he's put on the ground a good tackle by McLennan. Ball comes back to Eshman again. And Nathan Levy in charge, he puts a little chip through. Craigie, the ball's been knocked on twice, but the referee allows the ball to go on. And uh, I think Glen Innes will score here. Uh, he's gone in in the corner, the, uh, the winger for Glen Innes. And uh, I think, uh, uh, no, the try has been disallowed. The boy lost the ball. Uh, Tommy Kane on the sideline has disallowed the try. And uh, the ball will be brought out and Inverell will get the, uh, the feed. A lot of pressure on the Inverell boys here today. They're uh, uh, pretty hot favourites. And uh, it's pretty important that they get off the uh, mark pretty early and uh, 
uh, get a get points on the board. There goes the ball in. Glenn Ernest put the ball in. And um, one of the uh, replacements. Somebody getting called out here. Looks like it might be Sheeta. There's something uh, in the tackle there. This looks like a penalty to Glenn Ernest and uh, him roll back under pressure again. Um, here's Eshman, he's going to take the tap and here comes uh, Smurthwaite on the boil and he's taken by Butcher and Sheeta with the assistance of uh, uh, McLennan. Here's, uh, here's Matt Frendon, a good run by Frendon. He's held up by Woodbury and Connor and uh, put on the ground. He'll play the ball back. Uh, Eshman, a long pass across there to Stewart. The Stewart's running across the field and there makes an easy mark for Sheeta and uh, is put on the ground. Plays the ball back to Rummery. Rummery, a pass, long pass out to Nathan Levy. Levy's taken in a good tackle by going in and put on the ground. And the ball comes across there to Rummery again. He's running, but he's put on the ground by Woodbury, a good tackle around the legs. Ball comes back again to uh, Eshman across here to the 5-8 Barnes. He's running strongly. Uh, gets the ball back to Stewart. Stewart. Oh, a good tackle there by Butcher. Puts Langford on the ground. A long pass by Eshman across to Nathan Levy. He kicks the ball high, but I think that'll go dead, that ball. And it's, uh, it's another goal line dropout. The ball is knocked dead by uh, uh, Damian Connor. A lot of pressure being applied here by the Glenninus Juniors at the moment, and uh, they're playing pretty good football. They've had all the ball. Uh, Israel haven't had a run with the ball yet. Now yeah, a drop kick from Sheeta again, a long kick up towards the 40 metre line. Uh, it's picked up by Levy, and he's on the run downfield. Uh, good tackle there by, uh, that's Butterdine. And uh, that's another penalty to Glenn Ennis. It uh, looks like uh, Butterdine's infringed. He wouldn't let the player get up and play the ball. Levy is going to have a kick at goal. There's a kick by Levy, it's a uh, bad kick, and, and now Inverell's got the ball. Craigie's bringing the ball up, and a good run, still outside the quarter line. Now we'll see what these big fellas can do. Here's a good pass on to Butcher. Butcher's running straight. He ducks inside Frendon's tackle, and he's put on the ground by Rummery. Another good run from Butcher. Where's Woodbury? He's gone out wide. There's another penalty, and uh, the referee's getting these young fellas sorted out early. Held down in the tackle, and it's a penalty to Inverell. She either will kick for touch. There's a good kick from Sheeta too. He hasn't found touch though. That's taken by Levy. And he's put on the ground there by, uh, looks like Kent. He plays the ball back. Here it comes to Frendon. There's a good tackle there by uh, Gawain Butterdine. Puts him on the ground with the assistance of uh, Sheeta. There's a ball back to, uh, now it's on to Smurthwaite. He's taken a good tackle by. He's lost the ball in the tackle. And he's lost the ball forward in the tackle. And uh, the scrum will be set down, Nimbrell. I know, he's that lineman signal pulled out. It's uh, Nimbrell copying hammer and the penalty's here. There's a good kick from Nathan Levy. And finds touch 15 metres out from the Nimbrell try line. Then and us right on the attack again. Look for uh, Matty Frendon here. Here's Eshman, takes the tap. Here comes Matty Frendon on the boil. No, he's missed the ball. He goes now on to uh, Eshman's running cross field on to Nathan Levy. There's a good pass on to the fullback. And he's going to... There now. That's a knock on by Glenn Ennis. And uh, now Inverell will get the ball. We'll see what they can do with this uh, first time or second time in possession. A little bit nervous Inverell fellows. That was a bad kick there from uh, James Hughes. He kicked to the wrong side of the field. I thought the wind was blowing across here towards the camera and he's kicked into the wind the other side. And uh, not even... Uh, 
He's got to just uh, get their minds on the job, the Inverell boys. Here's an on the red Spencer. He runs across the field and makes an easy mark there for Walters and Barnes, and he's put on the ground. He plays the ball back to John O'Neill. And where's the issue though? He goes straight up the centre field. And a good tackle there by friend and Jars uh, Sheeter. Where's Woodbury and uh, Connor? Here's, here's Connor on the run there. Oh, he's knocked the ball on a bad. Here's Glennon's on the attack here, and a, we were lucky for Butcher. Uh, a good tackle by Butcher, ball and all tackle, lo wraps up the Glennon's play. Here's uh, Lang uh, uh, Poulton, he's run straight forward, and another good tackle by Butcher. Here we go, across from Eshman, across here to Stewart. Stewart on the Matty Frendon, and a good tackle by Nathan Gwan, puts Frendon on the ground. Got any, Glennon's got a big overlap out on the right-hand side. There's the ball, goes across to Smirthwaite, and a good tackle by Gwan and uh, Connor. <laughs> this is uh, Murdoch with the ball and he's put on the ground here's another uh, Nathan Levy has knocked the ball on <laughs> there's Red Spencer with the ball there's a tackle by, uh, pass by Craig out to John O'McLean and, and he goes up centre field and he's put on the ground Here's Nathan Gwen, a good run. He goes up centre field, gets out to the 20-metre line. And he's held there by uh, Rummery, the lock forward. Here's Connor. He goes forward, straight up the centre, goes, oh, a high tackle. <laughs> Hembrell certainly copping a hammering in the penalties here at the moment. That's uh, another free kick here to Glenn Innes. Uh, it was pretty hit, a high tackle there on Connor, and uh, he lost the ball in the tackle, and... Uh, Another Inverell player picked the ball up and uh, he was deemed to be in an offside position. But um, Nathan Levy will have another kick at goal and uh, he should kick this one. <laughs> Nathan Levy's got the ball placed here at uh, the Gora Showground. Uh, this could put the first two points on the board for, for uh, Glenn Innes. No, he's missed it. He's pulled it to the left-hand side, the uprights, and that's two chances Nathan Levy's had uh, for points in this game, and uh, still the score is nil all. Inverell have got to really get their minds on the job. They're uh, taking this game a little bit for granted. Here's a drop kick now from Sheather, and uh, Inverell have got to chase this ball. Ah, that's a good kick too by Sheather. This ball's coming down again to the man of the moment of the moment, Nathan Levy. And uh, uh, Glennon's got a sub on the field. We don't know his name, unfortunately. Here's the ball goes back to Eshman. Eshman gets it on to Rummery. Rummery, oh, and good tackle there by uh, uh, Nathan Gawain and Sheather over the top. Plays the ball back to Eshman. Eshman gets it across there to Stewart. Stewart on to Matty Friend and, and Rummery on the inside. And he's taken in a good tackle there by uh, um, uh, Craigie. Here's the ball back to Stewart. Stewart's lost the ball and pick. <laughs> Just see what the interviewer oh, he's uh, pinged the Glennon's boys for uh, a man picking the ball up in front of the player who lost the ball, and that's a it's a penalty to Inverell, and we'll see if Sheeta can find touch this time with a with a kick. That's a better kick from James Sheeta. Finds touch. Um, not a long kick, but at least he found touch. Here's the Inverell boys now. We'll uh, see what these fellows can do. There goes Woody, straight up the centre. He's gone straight through. Up to the uh, 40 metre line, held up by Matty Friend, and now it's got the boys on the boil. That's better. James Sheeter takes the ball, second line, and uh, he gets the ball back there to uh, um, the, the hooker forward. It is Brad Higgins, and Higgins plays the ball back to Sheeter. On to Damien Connor. He runs across field. Makes an easy mark for the uh, Glennon's defence. The boys in real have gone half the length of the field. It's on the Butterdean now. Butterdean running wide. He's gone around and cuts through. Um, hangs onto the ball though, and uh, there's two tackles to go in this set of six. Plays it back there to Brad Higgins. On to McLennan. Here's a long pass out there. On to Butcher. Butcher's picked the ball up. On to Sheather. Sheather's running wide. And Sheather will go through and score. He's gone run around uh, the uh, substitute uh, uh, second row off of Glennon's, and Sheather has gone in to score. A good try. Well, that just shows you what Inverell can do when they uh, really settle down. That's the first real chance they've had with the ball and uh, points on the board, 4-0. Well,
uh, Dave Kent's got this ball placed. Uh, he's, he hasn't brought it back very far. He's on a pretty acute angle. Um, but he knows what he's doing, I guess. <laughs> Takes the kick and it's waved away. It's gone to the left-hand side of the uprights. And uh, it's 4-0. Uh, So that uh, Inverell now lead four points to nil, a try of a cheater. Here's Nathan Levy, kicks the ball off again. Straight down centre field, he kicks it. Jay Cook takes the ball safely on to McElwain. Here's McElwain, straight up centre field, running hard. Now, good tackle there by Matty Friend, and, and um, well, he's on to Sheeta. Sheeta runs straight and hard and up to the 40 meter, 30 metre line, and uh, he's held down there by Rummery. He plays, plays the ball back. Woodbury went too early. He gets it out wide to Connor. Connor straight through the centre. Here he goes, Connor's away, and he'll run. He's got back up here with Ray Craigie. He, oh, he held on to the ball. Gets it on to Spencer. Spencer will, Spencer will go right around him, and he'll score, Spencer. No, he's caught by uh, Walters, and he's put on the ground, and a good tackle. If Connor had let that ball go, uh, Ray Craigie scores under the post. Here's uh, Woodbury. He'll, he'll score. He's in. There's a good try to Woodbury. Right beside the left hand upright, and uh, too big and strong, and uh, he's carried three defenders over there to score that try. That takes Inverell to a lead of uh, eight points to nil, and uh, you can see the Inverell boys now have really got their mind on the job, and uh, they said, let us have this ball. We'll score tries. You give us the ball. Certainly a bit of determination in that try. Uh, Woodbury came from fairly deep, and uh, there was no way that they were going to keep him out, and... Uh, he decided he was going to score the try, put his hand up and said, this is mine, this one. Dave Kent's got this ball placed now, right in, uh, right in front of the left hand upright. A pretty simple kick for, for Dave. There's the kick, straight between the uprights, and Inverell go the lead of 10 points to nil. Here's Nathan Levy, he kick off again for Glen Innes. Uh, that's a good kick too, down to Craigie, stops it with his foot, then picks the ball up and he's on the run up field. There's a good run, a good tackle there by Matty Friend and puts him down, uh, shoulder and all tackle, plays the ball back to Brad Higgins. He's on to Butcher, Butcher only knows one way, he'll go straight, and good, ta good tackle there by Eshman and uh, a rummery put uh, Butcher on the ground. Here's on to McLennan, McLennan gets on to Sheather, here's Woodbury out wide, he ducks back inside, up, straight up centre field and he's caught and uh, they can't put, yeah, they're putting down on the 40 metre line. He get up, play the ball quickly. Back to Brad Higgins. On to uh, Damien Connor. He's hung on to it again. And uh, there's uh, Nathan Gwynn's backing up. He's picked the ball up. And uh, they're, uh, they're up to the 40 metre line in uh, Glennon's territory. There's the ball back to McLennan. McLennan on to Shee, the, oh, Butcher. Butcher cut, uh, cuts back inside. And he's into the, inside the uh, 40 metre line. Or right on the 40 metre line in Glennon's end of the territory. Back to Brad Higgins. On again to Connor. Connor runs. Ships forward. Here's the, and that's going to find touch. I think he would have been better off hanging on to the ball there. He had three men on the outside, four men on the outside, and only two defenders to beat. I noticed that Nathan Levy has uh, dropped back in defence too. I don't know whether he's dropped back to fullback, but um, um, I think that's probably a plus for him, really, if Nathan Levy drops back to fullback. He's needed up in that line. He's pretty creative, uh, Nathan Levy, and. Uh, um, it'll only be to Inverell's benefit he's, if he's out of the play. Here's the referee uh, having trouble with this scrum. He's put in by Glenn and it's picked up there by Stewart. And uh, here's the winger, Murdoch, in a wraparound. He's taken in a good tackle there by Jay Cook and uh, Damien Connor over the top. That hurt. Uh, here's the ball played back to Stewart. On there now to the centre. That's good. Pass there too to Nathan Levy, who picks the ball up at the, his uh, toes and uh, he's tackled on the 40 metre line. There's the ball played back to Eshman. On to looks like Stewart and it's Smurfweight. Oh, a good tackle there by Connor and uh, 
Uh, Butcher. Butcher underneath and Connor over the top. Here's the ball. Comes on to Stewart. And Smirthwaite now with the ball. Oh, a big tackle by Woodbury. And he's put down very hard. And that hurt. Um, he plays the ball back now. And he didn't want that. Um, that's probably the tackle of the match so far. Here's the centre for Glenn and his, uh, running, running wide. He's a big boy too. He gets the ball back there to Walters. Walters running across field. He gets around. He's... Uh, he puts the ball down and uh, Inverell will get the scrum, scrum feed. Uh, uh, that was a pretty big tackle from uh, Marcus Woodbury on his opposite number, Smith, uh, Smurfweight, I think it was, and uh, he's feeling the effects of that. He's hanging around in the back of the uh, forward pack there now. He's going back to second row, Smurfweight. There's the ball out to John O. McLean and out to Craigie. Craigie, and here's Butterdean. And he only knows one way, Butterdean, and he's uh, across the halfway line into Glenninus territory. And there's been an infringement here from the Glenninus, and uh, someone from Whitney getting called out. I think it might be Eshman. He's getting a caution there. Rum Rummery, the uh, captain for Glenninus, goes up, and here's what the uh, referee has to say. And there it is, a penalty to Inverell. Dave Kent to kick the touch on the uh, uh, western side of the ground. That's a good kick, too. He's found touch just up more or less about the 30, uh, 25 metres out from the Glenna Strike. Here's Woodbury on the boil, straight through, and he's caught on the about the 15 metre line out by Matty Friend, and in a good tackle too. And here we go, Butcher, you know, he's run to the blind, and it's taken by Sheather, and he's uh, got to put in a good tackle there uh, by uh, two of the Glenninus players. It was uh, Rummery again, I think. There's the ball out to McLennan, on the... Uh, McElwain and he runs hard and straight as only the McElwains know how to do. Here's he gets up, plays the ball back quickly. Oh, there's a bad pass. Picked up by Gawain. He runs around Levy, runs around uh, the 5-8 uh, Barnes and uh, he's caught back in towards centre field. Plays the ball back to John O'McLennan on to Sheeta. He gets the ball on the corner, but Connor's trapped by Frendon. There. Frendon's marking Connor pretty good. There's a high kick from John O'McLennan, a good kick too. Nathan Levy. Oh, he takes it well, Nathan Levy, and immediately put on the ground there by Craig Butcher. He'll get up and play the ball back there, and it's uh, there's a Walters on the run downfield. A good tackle by Justin McElwain, puts him on the ground. He's held by Craigie. There's the ball back there to Eshman, and Eshman gets it on to Rummery. Rummery running through, straight through, and a good tackle there by John O. McLennan, uh, puts him on the ground. <laughs> Didn't like that one much, Rummery. He plays it back and gets on to Matty Frendon. Friendy Frendon's having a good game, and he's closely marked too. Gets a good ball away there to Eshman. And another good tackle by Jono Clennon puts him on the ground. This is developing into a good match. There's uh, Smithwaite. Ch chucks it back to, uh, it looks like Stewart, on to Rumming. And Rumming's held in a good tackle there by uh, the 5A Craigie and uh, Sheather over the top. This is the sixth tackle. Kick pass right back there to Nathan Levy. And uh, that's touched by an Inverell player. It's gone out in the full. We just wait for uh, an interpretation here. It's a hand over there because the ball's gone out on the full. And uh, um, here it is on the Gawain. That's a good run up to centre field. I noticed uh, Woodbury's been replaced and uh, at, uh, Froggy Gribbett's going on just to give these boys a bit of a, a run and a taste of what to see what the uh, big time football is. Uh, Gribbett straight up the centre field, a good run too. And he's put down there by the uh, second row of Langford. Here's Connor running wide. He gets it back to Shea, the ducks back on the inside. Shea gets it on to McClough. McLennan's put it down. He had the, uh, a big gap there too. And uh, it's Jared died on by uh, young Stewart for Glenn and he plays back to Matty Frendon. And oh, there's a hard tackle there by uh, Connor and um, uh, Roggy Gribbett. He plays it back to the, the big fella, Smirthwaite, and he's uh, played the pass, forward pass, and uh, he uh, didn't really want it. The, uh, that's not Smirthwaite, I'm sorry. It's the sub for uh, the number 14 for Glenninus who uh, took that hard tackle earlier, and uh, he really wasn't running with a, a lot of conviction that time. Here's the Inverell ball. McLennan will put this ball in. He play the ball, comes out to McLennan. There's a long pass across the field to Craigie. Here's Butterdean on the, oh, he's dropped it, the ball down there. Uh, playing, getting a bit flash with the ball, these Inverell boys. And uh, giving the ball straight back to Glenn in his first tackle. Here's the ball, goes back now to uh, Stewart. Here, a long pass across to Nathan Levy. Levy, run, that's gone. And here's Jay Cook on the run across the field now. Has a good run from the winger, Walters. And Walters will run right through and score. That's a good try from Walters. Um, 
He's run uh, 60 metres to score that try, beat about five tacklers, and uh, that uh, tackle should have been uh, made over on the far side of the ground. That was a good try from Walters. So that takes uh, him on to 10 points to Glenn, and this is four. Uh, Jay Cook uh, showed Walters the sideline then, and he uh, he thought he had him covered, but uh, a bit of good a good sidestep from uh, uh, Walters stuck back inside of Jay Cook, and then uh, proceeded to get out of the tackle. I think it was uh, Nathan Goyen, but um, a good good try to Glenness, and that gets them right back into the match. But uh, too many mistakes by Inverell, and uh, that Inverell should have nearly scored the other end of the ground. There's the kick from Levy, and that's gone straight between the posts, and that takes the score now onto uh, ten points to six. James Sheeter to kick off. Hacks that ball well there. That's a good kick too from Sheeter. And uh, straight to the try scorer Walters. He, uh, he said, hey, yeah, somebody else can have a run. He said, I've had enough of that. On to Matty Frendon. There's a good tackle there by Frendon and uh, uh, by Butcher and puts Frendon on the ground. The Inverell boys have got the line formed up. Uh, no penalties uh, required at this stage. That's on to Eshman. And there's a good tackle by Gawain. That hurt. And... Good tackle there by Butcher and uh, help with uh, Gawain and uh, Reggie Spencer. There's a ball across there to, to Stewart, the little halfback. A good tackle there by Nathan Gawain. And uh, there's a penalty to uh, Glenn and this is in side, inside the five metres, uh, ten metres. And uh, I tell you what, they're certainly getting a bit of a hammering with the penalties and the, uh, with their uh, bad ball handling. They're keeping Glenn and in this game. There's a kick from Nathan Levy. He finds about 20 metres, about five metres inside the, the Inverell half. And... Uh, Here's Matty Friend, and he'll take the ball up hard. Matty Friend, and only knows one way. No, he's, they've cut Matty out, and there it goes onto the. Yes. Uh, there's another penalty for Glenn Ennis. Um, he's uh, certainly hammering them in the, the penalty department. Levy kicks for touch. That's gone dead in goal, I think. Oh, that's a good kick. It's found touch about five metres out from the Inverell try line. Uh, another sub on there for Glenn Ennis, the number 15. We don't know who he is, I'm sorry. And this is. Uh, Matty Frandon, no, he's gone blind again across to Stewart. Stewart gets it across to Barnes, on to the centre, Rumming. Rumming's running strongly, and he's a good tackle there by John o. McLennan. Puts him on the ground. He gets up and plays the ball back to, uh, looks like Walters, ducking across there. He's looking for another try. That was a good try. Oh, and they've, uh, Butcher's got hold of him, and they've put him on the ground this time. Danger man, Walters, he's very quick. He plays the ball back to the, the substitution. Uh, comes across then to Stewart, Matty Frendon. He only knows one way, Matty, and uh, we keep saying that, but he, uh, he's, he's a straightforward uh, front row, Matt, and he's uh, no nonsense, man. Straight across there now to Stewart. Stewart gets it on to uh, the, uh, the fullback. He's taken in a good tackle there by Dave Kent. That's um, Trent Levy. He crossed there with Nathan Levy. Here's the ball that comes right across through the rumming, rummery, I'm sorry, and he's uh, taken in a good tackle there by Froggy Gribbett and uh, Brad Higgins. This is the sixth tackle. Played back then to the substitution. There he goes. Nathan Levy puts the ball high in the air. This is a good kick too from Levy. Levy. Levy takes the ball, but he's spilt the ball. And that stacks on the middle. And it's taken by Rell. Craig Butch is on the ball. A good jump there from Levy, but he lost the ball on the way down. And uh, it would have been a handover anyway. I think he tried to... Uh, um, Plays the ball back to Brad Higgins. There's Froggy Gribbett. He's running wide. He's broken through Gribbett. And a good run there from Gribbett. Takes the ball 30 metres out from the Inverell try line. Gets up, plays the ball back to Sheezer. On to Craigie. Craigie's running hard and straight. A, oh, a good pass to Reggie Spencer, but he's caught on the 40 metre line. Inverell's into the ground. He gets up, plays the ball back to Green. On to Craigie. Craigie across to uh, McElwain. On to uh, Damien Connor. There's a good pass on to John o. McLennan. And here's Dave Kent now. He's on the run-up field. Dave Kent, he's running strongly. David Kent, a good tackle pass back inside to Butterdean. Butterdean is held in the tackle there by Barnes, the 5'8", and he's put on the ground. That's uh, five tackles gone for Inverell. 
plays the ball back to Dave Kent. John O'McLennan gets it across there to Froggy Grivet. On to Ray Craigie. The boys aren't going forward. They're just in passing. And on inside then to James Sheeter. Sheeter steps. There's a good try from James Sheeter. And he puts the ball down beside the left hand upright. A good try from Sheeter. And uh, duck back inside. you got a pass on the inside from uh, uh, Grivet. And he's gone through and uh, scored a good try. Just uh, Jason on the left hand side of the pace. Dave Kent's got this ball placed, uh, a reasonably simple kick for Dave. Um, he should kick this all right and uh, take the score on to uh, 16 points to 6 with about a minute and a half to go in this game, in this uh, first half of this game. Got the ball placed, has a look, moves in, puts his right foot to the ball, straight between the uprights, and that's a 16-6 lead for Inverell. And um, with, oh, uh, with, uh, fast, uh, with half time uh, almost upon us. Um, I noticed they took Marcus Woodbury off earlier. They must be uh, uh, experimenting here. They must have uh, Damien Connor uh, booked up to go on in the, in the A grade side later on in the day. So they've rested Marcus in the first half, I'd say, and he'll play uh, full half in the second half, I'd say. Here's Reggie Spencer, and he's put down in a good tackle by a couple of the uh, Glennon's uh, reserves. He gets up, plays the ball back to Butcher. There's he, Butcher picks the ball up, runs straight up field. He had a good run from Butcher. He gets to within two metres of the halfway line. He gets up quickly, plays the ball to Brad Higgins. Here's Damien Connor. He's running hard and struck, and he's tacking in a good tackle there by uh, Langford Brummery and another one around the legs. He plays the ball back to... Uh, uh, Higgins, there's the, a good pass there across there to uh, Butterdean, but he's holding a good tackle there by uh, Trent uh, Levy, um, and I think it's Barnes, the 5 -8. He plays it back to John O'McLennan, Ray Craigie, a good pass there across there to, and then the ball's, the ball's gone forward, uh, signaled by Tommy Kane. The ball's gone forward, uh, got a sing, uh, the referee got a signal from uh, linesman Tom Kane, and uh, I think Dommy was right too that time. The ball went about half a metre forward. There's the half-time bell uh, in this uh, junior fixture. The referee signals time off and it's 16 points to six in favour of Inverell. Welcome back to the uh, Gaira Showground for the second half of this uh, junior fixture between Inverell and Glenelg. Inverell at half time led 16 points to 6. Um, still got a lot of work to do the Inverell side. Their uh, play has been pretty scrappy really. And um, they've got to lift their game another a level uh, and uh, put this game beyond doubt. Because Glenelg, they'll, uh, they'll hang in there. And uh, they've got some good players in their side. And Inverell uh, will kick off. They'll be defending the eastern end of the ground in this second half. Uh, Glenelg will be running into the sun. Uh, they do uh, also have the wind against them, so and also this Inverell Junior side. So Inverell uh, look forward to them uh, putting a few more points on the board early in this second half. Sheeter's got the ball placed right on the halfway line for the uh, commencement of play in this second half. 
Referee asks Damien Connor, all right, the go, signals time on, and now the ball from Sheeta. Kicks the ball downfield, straight between the centre posts. Oh, and uh, he has a good tackle from John McLennan, uh, puts uh, Langford, the uh, front rower, uh, Sir Smurfate, I'm sorry, puts him on the ground. There's the ball, goes back to uh, Rumry, the uh, lock forward, and he's put on the ground by Sheeta and Butterdean. He gets up, plays the ball back to Eshman. Eshman gets the ball back to... Uh, Stewart, there's a new player on the field there again for Glen Innes. That's Langford, I think. Uh, the uh, second row of Langford, yes, he plays the ball. Gets it out to uh, Rummery, Rummery, and he is taking a good tackle there by uh, uh, Bardadine and Damian Connor over the top. He plays the ball back to Eshman. Eshman gets the ball across to Stewart. A long pass across there to uh, Murdoch. Uh, 5 8 Barnes on to Nathan Levy. He gets the ball onto uh, Waters, the danger man, and he's uh, putting on a good tackle there by uh, Nathan Gawain. Plays the ball back to Murdoch. Murdoch gets it on to uh, Smurthwaite. He uh, throws a, a bad pass across then to the second row. He reefs the ball across the field and that ball will probably turn out all right because it's going to bounce and uh, bounce high. Picked up there by Dave Kent. He runs around his opposite number. Straight downfield he goes. He'll, he's go, he'll go all the way, I think, Dave, Dave Kent. No, he's uh, tackling a good tackle there by Langford. <coughs> gets up, plays the ball back to John O. McLennan. Plays it back there, across there to Brad Higgins. Brad Higgins gets across to Damien Connor and he's taken an uh, easy target there for uh, Smurthwaite, the uh, front rower. Here's the ball played back then to Brad Higgins. On to Marcus Woodbury. He runs straight and hard. He goes straight through, gets the ball a good pass away to Gribbett and uh, he's put down very close to the Glen and the try line. Gets up, plays the ball back again. On to Damien Connor, running wide and Connor will go through. He'll score. That's a good try. Well set up there by the two front rowers and uh, one after the other and I think uh, that's the way they've got to play this game. Take them on in the forwards and get going straight up the centre. Good try to Damien Connor. That takes him rather a lead of 20 points to six early in this second half. Uh, referee having a few words to Damien Connor here over in the corner. He must have uh, infringed there some way. But um, now, now he awards the try to Inverell, and that's uh, 20 points to six with a kick to come from uh, David Kent. That was a uh, better play from Inverell. The, uh, uh, the from a mediocre kick from uh, Glenn in the uh, s uh, second rower, uh, Dave Kent made good ground down the uh, left hand touch line. Uh, got up, played the ball quickly, and got it across to Marcus uh, Woodbury. He went straight up the centre and got up and played the ball again quickly. And uh, they got Damien Connor running wide, and uh, there was no stopping Damien. He crashed through three or four uh, Woodbury tacklers to uh, score uh, about uh, 10 or 15 metres in from the uh, right hand touch line. Kent's almost got this ball placed. He's uh, taking his time over it. But that uh, does all go well for Inverell in the second half. Better things to come from uh, their scrappy play in the first half. <coughs> Ken's got this ball placed, has a look, moves in, puts his right foot to the ball, it looks good in flight, and there it is, straight between the uprights, a good kick from David Ken from out wide, and uh, Inverell lead 22 points to 6, with uh, Glenn do uh, run the ball back up to the halfway line and kick off. Um, that was good play from Inverell, that was well thought and well set up, and um, that's uh, more of the play that we've come used to. Nathan Levy kicks off here for Glenn, and so it's a... It's a uh, Tricky kick, was picked up by Butcher, hit him in the hand, and he did well to catch that ball. And uh, Glennon is uh, getting in there hunting, and uh, that was a good tackle from, uh, it looked like, uh, yeah, I think that's a deserved uh, penalty. They wouldn't get off Butcher and let him play the ball. And uh, the uh, Sheed has run across to uh, take this attempt at uh, uh, penalty to uh, find a bit of touch down the right-hand sideline. That's a big kick, and he's failed a fine touch again, Sheeta. That's a silly kick from James Sheeta. There's going to be a drop kick from uh, the uh, Glenn's quarter line. That was a very odd. It's still got me beat uh, why James Sheeta does that kicking. They've got Dave Kent there. He was a very good kicker of the ball. And... Um, uh, I know it's critical of me, but um, more often than not, he fails to find touch. 
Uh, Jay Cook will take this ball and get it on to Marcus Woodbury, and he'll wind up. Here he goes. He'll big fella. He'll wind up straight down the centre field. He goes. Still going, the big fella. A good run down centre field. It's balls pulled out, and uh, um, that's uh, apparently doing well. The ball was reefed out there. There were about five fellas in there trying to get uh, Marcus Woodbury onto the ground. Uh, he finished up. Uh, Unloaded three or four of them uh, in a pretty spectacular. There's a better kick from David uh, from uh, Brad Higgins, and he's a uh, found touch. Here the Inverell forwards will go again. Marcus Woodby will take this up. James Reed will take cut, takes the cut out pass, and he's down about 15 metres out from the try line. Here's uh, now uh, Froggy Gribbett. He's running wide. He's running straight through Froggy Gribbett. There's a good tackle by uh, Walters. He's a good game, young Walters, and he's down pretty close to the Inverell. As a penalty to Inverell, interference in the play of the ball, and um, Inverell uh, will take the tap here, and I'll go close to scoring. Where's the big fella this time? I'll take the tap here. I think Marcus Woodbury will get this ball. No, it's on to John McLennan. Here's Damien Connor running wide again. He'll take the ball again. He'll score again out wide. He dropped the ball, I think, uh, Damien Connor. No, the referee has awarded the try. A good try. Uh, again, doing well with those big forwards. Uh, we're looking for Woodbury cutting back inside, I think, to uh, score near the post, but uh, Connor running wide. Um, tore the uh, ribbons out of the uh, back line in the uh, going in the side, and he has gone over to score a nearly identical place, probably five or six metres closer into the post than the try he scored about three minutes ago. The Inverell side now are starting to uh, exert their uh, uh, power and strength into this game. They're, they're a big side and a very strong side and also a very fast side out in the outside backs. Uh, also, the thing is their the big men are also very mobile and uh, this takes three or four to put them down and when they've got three or four fellas putting one foot on the ground, there's going to create a space somewhere else for the other fellas and uh, that's the way these uh, Inverell... Uh, uh, team, I think, is their best uh, way to go forward is to, to use their uh, the big pack of forwards, and uh, when then when the time comes, they can swing it wide, and they've also got a very good set of backs. Dave Kent has got this ball placed. He's uh, about uh, 20 or 15 metres in again from touch. Puts his foot to the ball. The ball's gone straight between the uprights again, and there's a good exhibition of kicking from David Kent. And that, that takes him real, I think, on to 28 points to six. It's got to be about uh, seven or eight minutes into this second half. Then <coughs> I'll have the dawning task again of bringing it up, and uh, Nathan Levy will kick it off again. Um, there's down there to uh, uh, Nathan Gwen. He gets it on to Woodbury. Woodbury runs straight and hard and pushes them off, and he's gone down 30 metres out from his own try line. Gets up and plays the ball back to uh, Brad Higgins, and Brad Higgins ducks through from dummy half and makes good ground. A 10 or 12 metres there to Brad Higgins, a good run from dummy half. Plays the ball back to Reggie Spencer. Gets it on then to Craig Butcher. In, uh, he's Craig again. He's running straight and hard, and he's down almost to the 40 metre line. Plays the ball back then to Brad Higgins. A good pass out then to... Uh, uh, Nathan, uh, Damien Connor, and he's uh, tackling a good tackle there by uh, it looks like young Walters and uh, the sub for Glennon. He plays the ball back to Brad Higgins on to John A. McLennan. Here's Butcher, a good pass across the field to Butcher again, and uh, he's they got Woodbury lurking out in the back line this time. He's uh, on to uh, Nathan Gwen, and uh, he's down, uh, tackled by Rummery and uh, two or three others there. He plays the ball back. Here's uh, Woodbury ran the blind, hits across here to Ray Craigie. On then to Butterdean, it's been knocked down by Glenn Ennis and it's picked up there by uh, Dave Kent. He kicks the ball, I think there were six to go there. He's kicked the ball high, it's down to Nathan Levy. He takes the ball nicely and he's chased there by John A. McLennan. Gets away from McLennan, but he comes again and uh, with the assistance of uh, Gribbett, uh, she there, puts him on the ground. Gets up, plays the ball back there to Murdoch. Murdoch's taken in a good tackle by Connor. And uh, he'll get up and play. That's Barnes, I'm sorry, the 5'8. Plays the ball back then to Eshman. Eshman across to Stewart. Stewart on to Matty Frendon. And uh, Matty Frendon's been pretty quiet uh, in this game. And he's put on the ground there by uh, Higgins, the uh, uh, hooker for Inverell. Here's a good run here from uh, Trent Levy. And he's taken by six, four or five of the Inverell uh, forwards and put on the ground. He'll get up and play the ball back then. Plays across there to Stewart, the halfback. Gets it on to Rummery. And uh, yeah, he's put on the ground a good tackle there by the two front rowers, Rimbrell, Woodbury and uh, McElwain. Uh, Here's a good kick there from uh, Nathan Levy. He puts the ball up centre field. Brad Higgins is... 
He's knocked the ball on, Brad Higgins. Uh, pressure there from uh, Nathan uh, Levy, and uh, he's knocked the ball on, trying to recover, and uh, Glenn will get this feed. Uh, it's a bit sloppy there from Inverell. Uh, Brad Higgins was back there to cover, but uh, initially he dropped the ball, then knocked the ball on, trying to recover. So um, it'll be uh, Stuart, the halfback for Glenn and this ball into this scrum. Right on the Inverell 40 metre line. He, uh, out to Stewart it comes. He gets it across there now to Barnes a 5 8. This is uh, either Levy too. I think there's a. Oh, he's knocked the ball on the Glennon's player. That's picked up there by uh, Jay Cook and he's on the run downfield. He's tackled on the 40 metre line there and a good tackle by uh, uh, length of the Glennon. Here comes Butcher. He's going straight and up the centre goes Butcher. And Matty Friend missed him. A good tackle uh, by uh, Barnes the 5 8 for Glennon's. Puts it on uh, Butcher on the ground. He plays the ball. Here it comes across here to Connor and he cuts back inside. Gets a pass away there to uh, Nathan Gawain. He's in and out amongst the forwards there, and he's put down uh, uh, 28 metres out from the Glen and the trial, and he plays the ball on to Woodbury, and Woodbury, he's on the run straight down centre field, and a good tackle. He's still going. He's trips over, and uh, he's lost the ball in the tackle. And it's picked up there now by Nathan Levy. He's on the run across field, and there's a good tackle from Butterdean. Puts Levy on the hand uh, with the assistance of uh, um, Reggie Spencer, and... Uh, he plays the ball. It comes back here to Walters. Uh, it's Barnes, I'm sorry, the 5'8", and he's held by Butterdean. Ball goes in. Back across now to Stewart. Stewart across to Matty Friend, and Matty Friend is running across field and a good tackle there. He's put on the ground by uh, Butterdean with the assistance of Connor. He gets up and plays the ball back, plays it across there to Eshman. And here's this... Uh, there's a good tackle there by the Inverell forwards. They put him on the ground. They uh, substitute the 14 for Glennon. He plays the ball back to Eshman. Eshman gets across to Stewart. Stewart... He cuts out pass, cuts it on to Rummery, and there's a good pass tackle there from Nathan Goyan, puts him on the ground. That's the fifth tackle across to Nathan Levy. He'll kick the ball. Now he's a dummy to kick, and then he's chipped it forward, and it's gone back there to Jay Cook. He's got the ball now. He ducks back inside, and there's a trip there by uh, one of the Glenness players, and he's uh, put on the ground, Jay Cook. Back to Red Spencer, across here now to Ray Craigie. Ray Craigie goes straight up centre field, and he uh, gets almost to the... Uh, he gets uh, over the 40 metre line in, in again, Imbrel territory before he's put on the ground. He plays it back here to... Come on, and uh, that's sloppy play from Imbrel. Three players didn't know whether they should have got that ball or not, and uh, Connor and Butcher and... Um, uh, I don't know who the other fellow was. But um, it was a very sloppy play from Imbrell, and uh, they'll have to lift their game another notch to be uh, um, when they meet Armadale, if they or Armadale or Glennons in the grand final, if the way they're going at the moment. This Glennons is balling the scrum. Imbrell, big push from Imbrell. Yeah. And it's picked up Joe John McLennan, but the referee uh, has uh, ruled a knock on against the Glennons halfback, and uh, Imbrell will get this feed now into this scrum. John McLennan to put the ball in. In it goes. I won't push him real off the mark. There's a pass across there to Jay Cook. Jay Cook ducks straight up centre field, gets almost to the halfway line. The Imbrell forwards are slow out of that uh, pack. There's a penalty to Imbrell. Uh, the uh, winger for uh, Glenn and his Walters has interfered in the play of the ball. Wouldn't let him up to uh, play the ball back, and uh, Dave Kent will take this uh, kick for touch right on the halfway line. Kicks the ball. There's a good kick too, and he finds touch. Right over in front of the uh, spectators there on the, the Glen and the spectators on the other side of the ground. Here's Reggie Spencer, he'll take the tap. There it comes across there now to James Shooter. He goes straight and hard, does James Shooter. And uh, he's put on the ground 20 metres out from the Glen and the trial. And where it is now, here's Butterdean. He goes straight. There's a good run from Butterdean. Runs straight into Rummery. And he uh, Rummery come off the second best in that tackle. Where's the Inverell boys now? Uh, here we go. Across there to Ray Craigie. Ah, it's intercepted by Glenn's player, but he knocked the ball on, and uh, Murdoch it was, and uh, finished up being picked up by Walters, the two wingers standing side by side, but uh, some sloppy play there from Inverell again, they uh, not, haven't got their minds on the job at the moment, and uh, I tell you what, these, uh, they're going to want to give these Glenn's fellas half a chance, because they'll, uh, they'll run the length of the field and score a try. Here we go, uh, looks like we've got Connor playing halfback. Connor puts the ball in, here he goes, he's going to run from the base of the scrum, Connor, he'll take some, there's a pass to Woodbury and he'll score, a good pass from Woodbury, that's a, that's a plan move, that one, uh, Connor fed the scrum, uh, John Abertrand and packed down his lock, and um, um, Damien Connor broke away from, 
with the ball at halfback and Woodbury broke very quickly from the scrum and uh, he's uh, backed up on the inside of Connor and scored a good try. That's a planned move. But, uh, that certainly worked. That's a good try. That takes Imbrel to a lead of 32 points to six with the kick to come from uh, uh, David Kent. That was a really good try from Imbrel. Well planned. That's that's uh, come from Fozzie the coach, I'd say. That's a, a planned move and it, it worked to perfection. And you can't do much better than that. Here's Dave Kent now. Got this ball placed. Been kicking well as Dave Kent. And... Uh, Oh, he's kicked this one wide. I'll put the mocker on him quick smart. And uh, Dave's pushed that one to the right inside the post and the score remains at uh, 32 points to six in favour of Inverell. from Glenn Ennis is down to Butterdean. He takes the ball and he's tackled in a good tackle there right on his 40 metre line. As uh, Barnes, that's uh, Murdoch, I'm sorry, he plays it back to uh, Dave Kent. Shea the back on the inside. He uh, is held right on the, where, where they played the ball. Here comes Woodbury. He's on the ball this time. He'll take the ball off McLennan. There's a good... He's taken the ball to the halfway mark. He'll get up and uh, play the ball back. Took three of them to pull him down. There must be gaps there. Pays it back to uh, Brad Higgins. There's Damien Connor out wide. Gets it on to uh, Nathan Gawain, and he's pulled down 10 metres into the ground on the side of the uh, halfway line. Gets up, plays the ball back. Here's Connor backing up on the inside again. Gets it on to uh, Butcher coming back. Well, there's good play. The boys are starting to try, throw a few things here now. On to Brad Higgins, and uh, he's put down in the centre of the ruck. That's the fifth tackle for Inverell. Gets up, plays the ball back. Cross to John McLennan. On to Damien Connor. There's a pass to share. The boys will score again here. They'll run this ball. It gets on to Ray Craig. He ducks inside and he scores. A good try from Inverell. A good backline movement. And uh, that's a good try from Ray Craig. Uh, scored about 10 metres in from the uh, left hand corner post. And uh, that'll take Inverell onto a uh, score of 36 points to six with a kick to come. That was a good try. That's two good tries from Inverell in the last three or four minutes. And. Uh, they're starting to exert their uh, superiority on this uh, young Glenn in his side. A replacement coming on for Inverell. Uh, Froggy Grip's coming on. I think uh, probably Damien Connor will go off at this stage of the game. I'd say, well, Craig Butcher, I'm not quite sure who's going off. Uh, uh, Craig Butcher's the boy going off, I think. Um, Nah, uh, it's Damien Connor going off. He's uh, probably going to catch his breath and uh, do a stint in A grade later in the day. Um, oh, Butch is going off too. Uh, and um, who we got coming on there now? Anyway, we'll pick that player up directly. Here's the kick from Dave Kent. A uh, good kick too from Dave Kent. And he's just shaved the right hand upright, and the score remains at 36 points to six. Full credit to Glenn in this match. They've never given up. Um, totally outclassed in the second half, but they're, uh, they're just running back up to kick this ball up. And uh, they're finding it really difficult now with these big mobile forwards and rolls running straight and hard. There's the ball kicked off there. It goes back to Gwen. He picks the ball up, and he's on the run down field. He'll take the ball. Uh, there's a good run. He takes the ball at about, about uh, 28 metres out from the Inverell try line. Now we're looking for the Inverell front rowers. He plays the ball back then to Brad Higgins. Here's Gribbett. He's on the run across the field. And he's an easy mark there for the uh, Glen Innes forwards. And he's put on the ground um, 32 metres out from the Inverell. Here's Woodbury now. He, ch uh, he takes the blind. He uh, uh, gets up and plays the ball back. Plays it back then to Higgins. There's Ray Craig, they're going to use the back line here. Oh, a good pass there to Butterdean, but he had a look. 
and there's Matty Friend, and he's picked the ball up now, and he's uh, put on the ground there by Gribbett and Ray Craigie. He plays the ball back now to a substitution there for uh, Glenninus, and uh, Slangford, the boy with the ball, now Smurthwaite, I'm sorry, he puts his foot on the ground there, and a good tackle there by Gribbett, and uh, Butterbean plays the ball back there to a substitution player from Real, and a good tackle by McTrannan coming over the top, a bit high too, but he uh, put it was very effective, put back then to... Uh, they got the Inverell boys here once again from up inside the uh, 10 metre line and all well, the markers not lining up and uh, that's a free kick to Glenninus and uh, Nathan Levy will kick for touch. Kicks the ball out over the top of uh, Tommy Kane's head and they'll take the tap now about oh, 20 metres out from the uh, Inverell try line. These uh, substitutes for Glenninus, they're pretty hard to pick up, especially when you don't know who they are. This guy comes now across back to Stewart. There's uh, Walters, this winger, running straight and hard. There's a good run there too from Smurthwaite, the front rower. And he's put on the ground there by Gribbett. He plays the ball back now. Comes across here to another Russ. That's Langford, the second rower for Glenis. And he's put in a smothering tackle there by Woodbury Spencer. And uh, Gribbett again plays the ball back across. Comes to Stewart. Stewart gets a, a ball away to Matty Frendon. And uh, he's put on the ground there by... Uh, uh, Here's Rummery, he's running across to Stewart. Stewart gets the ball across to Barnes. Barnes is trying to straighten the ball up. Here's Nathan Levy, and he's taking in a ball and all tackle there by uh, Andrews. The, in, the referee had called held, and um, the real players didn't go in quick enough, and that's uh, a penalty to Glennon again. I'd like to see the penalty count in this game. Nathan Levy takes the tap, places the ball across there to Matty Frendon. Frendon, he deserves a try. He's played pretty hard for the uh, game on this side. Plays the ball back, comes across the field to Stewart. Stewart gets a good pass across there to Barnes. Barnes, he's held by Gribbett and Woodbury. And he's drugged back for his trouble and put on the ground with the help of Andrews. Plays the ball back to Stewart, the halfback for Glenn. There's a long pass across there to Rummery, the lock forward. There's Nathan Levy out wide, and uh, he's held in a good tackle there also by Gawain. Ball and all tackle. Couldn't get the ball away. Plays the ball back to Rummery. Rummery, Rummery across the field to Stewart. Stewart, there's Smurthwaite, the uh, front rower. Gets the ball away to Friend and his punt row partner. And uh, the ball's been knocked back there, and he's laying for the second row for Glenn. He's running straight. The, uh, he's another pass back inside to Stewart, and he's put on... That's a good pass there. Glennon has kept the ball alive. And uh, the hooker for Glennon has gone over to school, Richman. That's a good try. And uh, I think they deserved a try there. They uh, tried things with the ball and kept it alive. And uh, Inverell uh, relaxed and uh, they paid the penalty. That takes the score now on to 36 points to 10. He's got this ball placed and uh, pretty well uh, just adjacent to the left hand upright and uh, this should be a pretty simple conversion for Nathan Levy. Puts his foot to the ball, the ball is straight across between the uprights and uh, that takes uh, the score now on to Inverell 36 and Glenninus 12 with about seven or eight minutes to go. Had a lot of football, these Inverell boys, and um, you can see that uh, they'll, they'll be looking forward to having next week off and uh, re a bit of recovery. Here's the Ray Craig, he kicks the ball off for Inverell. He's kicked that acro uh, across here to Walters. The, uh, the, no, it's, yes, it is Walters, and he's taken in a good tackle there by Dave Kent. Uh, he gets his jacket removed there for his trouble. Played across there now, goes across to Stewart. The halfback takes a good, pretty awkward pass. He's tackled in a good tackle there by Gribbett and uh, McElwain. Gets up, play the ball back to this uh, uh, replacement player for Glennon as he gets the ball across there to Rummery, the uh, lock forward. He's had a fair game, Rummery, and uh, he'll get up and play the ball back to uh, another Glennon player. He runs from dummy half. He's so uh, Inverell players are relaxing a bit, and Glennon is starting to make ground up through the centre. Inverell uh, is a pass out there to uh, Matt Frendon and and uh, he's taken in a good tackle there um, by two of the Umbrella players. He'll get up and play the ball back there, back across now to uh, the danger man, Nathan Lee. That's a pretty ordinary pass, and he's knocked it on, picked up there by uh, Brad Higgins, and he's on the run downfield, and he's caught there about 30 metres out from the Umbrella trial, and he'll play the ball back. He's an Umbrella forwards. 
Pike and comes guys across there to Nathan Gwynn. He goes one way. He tackles, runs, runs straight through the centre of the ruck. Bit of a... There's Red Spencer. He's going to have a run. He said, give me the ball. He said, and I'll take it forward. Some of these Inverell forwards are sucking wind. They, uh, here's John O'McLennan. He gets the ball onto Woodbury. Woodbury will run straight and hard. He's gone straight through. He scoved into the uh, Glennon's quarter line. Gets up, plays the ball back to John O'McLennan. Across to Brad Higgins. There's uh, Froggy Griffith. He's running strongly out wide. He gets away from uh, Matt Frendon. And he loses the ball in the tackle. And it's Glennon that's in possession. Uh, 35 metres out from their own uh, try line. He gets up, plays the ball back to Rummery, and Rummery runs from dummy half, and he's caught by Spencer and put on the ground with the assistance of Gribbett. He gets up and plays the ball back. In roll back about 14 metres there. We've crossed the field to Barnes. Barnes is uh, put on the ground there by Gribbett's done a mile of tackling since he's come on. Cross field it comes to Stewart. Stewart's got players on his outside, gives it the ball there to, uh, to the hooker Eshman, and he's put on the ground there by uh, Butterdean with the assistance of McElwain. Here's the ball to Stewart now. He goes across the field here now to uh, the uh, second rower, and that's Poulton. And he's put on the ground. He's lost the ball in the tackle. And uh, Inverell uh, will uh, serve the scrum. Zabax is packing in at lock there for Inverell at the moment. There's a ball across the field here to John O'McLean. He gets it on to Craigie. Butterdean. Butterdean's been pretty quiet today. Uh, he's been pretty well marked. He'll play the ball back now to Dave Kent. He runs from dummy half and he's taken in a simple tackle there by Walters, the winger. Gets up, plays the ball back to uh, hooker Brad Higgins and he runs from dummy half too. He goes downfield and he makes 15 metres before he's put on the ground in a, a hard tackle there by Murdoch, the uh, winger. Gets up and plays the ball back. Cross comes to here's Woodbury again. He's on the Pass inside to McElwain, and McElwain makes another 10 metres. Plays the ball back here to Brad Higgins. A good pass there to Craigie. Uh, and Woodbury's gone without the ball, and uh, there's another scrum packed down. Inverell got a little bit sloppy in the last six or seven minutes, and uh, they've really got to concentrate for a bit longer than this in their games and uh, to uh, get to the fruits of their, or the reward of the... Uh, uh, championship that they so dearly want this year. There's the ball out to Glennon. It comes from Stewart across there to uh, the lock, the 5 8 Barnes. There's a good run here from Poulton, and Poulton's taken in a good tackle by Dave Kent and Jeremy Butterdean. He uh, decides to have a bit of a pushing contest, but uh, there's Barnes again. He's uh, having a good game, Barnes. And he's put in a good tackle there by uh, Froggy uh, McElwain and uh, Nathan Gwynn. Plays the ball back across to Stewart. Stewart gets on to Matty Frendon, and he's put down. With the assistance, there's the hooker, uh, Paul, uh, the uh, second row of Poulton is tackled about uh, 41 metres out from the Inverell trial and the ball comes across to Stewart. Stewart gets it on to Nathan Levy and there's a good pass out to Murdoch and uh, he's knocked the ball on. There's a, uh, a chance to make a bit of ground up this right hand touch line but uh, Inverell will now feed this scrum and see if we can uh, tidy up this uh, play a little bit. All players, uh, both sides are sucking a bit of wind. It's pretty warm here today, and uh, for, for Gyra anyway. <laughs> His ball goes in, it's pushed, put in by McLennan. There's the ball across to David G uh, Kent, and he, he's run straight and hard, and he's caught there in a good tackle by uh, the Walters, the Glennon the swinger. He, he keeps Gribbett running wide. He's still going, Gribbett, and he's put down there now in a good tackle by Poulton, the, the uh, second, uh, no, I'm sorry, it's the uh, fullback, uh, Devi. And another knock on from Inverell. They're getting sloppy, and he's put on the ground there by uh, a swinging arm there, too, from uh, Ray Craigie. There's the ball out here now, too. Oh, we just nearly lost the ball, too, that game in this play. He get up and play the ball back. It was via the winger, Murdoch. He plays the ball back, goes across to Stewart again. His friend and backs up on the inside. John O. McLennan has stolen the ball there in a the one-on-one, -on -one and uh, he's got the ball. He'll get up and play the ball back. Ray Craigie goes from dummy half, and he makes another six or seven metres, and he's put on the ground. He's, uh, the ball come back here now to uh, Brad Higgins. He gets the ball across there to Woodbury. <laughs> There's uh, an infringement being done here. Uh, Ray Craigie being called out here by the referee. 
Um, I just don't know what this was all about. I didn't pick that up in the... Uh, anyway, it's a penalty to Glenn Lawrence, so he must have interfered in the play of the ball. Here's the ball, good kick too. There's the full-time bell anyway, and... Uh, Ah, oh, bad pass, Crossfield. Inverell could score a try here. Here's Craigie. He's on the run downfield. He gets the ball away. No, he doesn't. He dies with the ball. I thought he threw a pass then to uh, uh, the Inverell uh, uh, halfback, John O'McClemmer. He went to the ground with the ball, and that's uh, Inverell Juniors now into the grand final of this competition. They've defeated Glenn in this 36 points to 12, but mind you, I think they've... Uh, Got to uh, improve their ball handling skills a little bit before that grand final comes around in a fortnight's time. Congratulations to the Inverell side. There was uh, some players there who uh, had pretty quiet games considering, and uh, I think they need to probably have a good look at this tape. And uh, um, they thought they were doing enough, but I think they've really got to put their hands up and uh, uh, dig a bit deeper and uh, do a little bit more work in both attack and defence. Um, but for Inverell. Uh, um, I thought probably uh, Damien Connor had a good game. James Shearer had a good first half. Um, John O'McLennan was solid all day. Froggy Gribbett made a big difference when he came on. He did a lot of tackling. And
All so bad, but <laughs>
southern end have let the ball bounce and has put them on the defensive right from the word go and uh, in the juniors uh, they uh, Inverell lost the or let the ball go uh, went over the dead ball line and they're on the defensive right from the word go and to Glenis's credit they played on that we've seen the reserve grade come out uh, they kicked off uh, Nigel Sharp was the uh, uh, player involved there he just let the ball bounce and bounced over the dead ball line and uh, Inverell uh, dropped out and we have been on the defensive for the first five or six minutes of this second half but now they're back on the attack and uh, uh, rings leading in this fixture six points to four now also uh, coming up next saturday at uh, bingra we have the uh, group 19 minor league semi-finals uh, a little bit of a high tackles coming in in the boomerangs un unusual for that uh, to come on but anyway uh, uh, they have been penalized for it and Inverell to uh, take the tap as it comes back to darren pay darren pay won't uh, worry about the high tackles he just loves it as he goes through further and further but getting back to the minor semi-finals or the semi-finals minor and major of the uh, uh, minor league to be played at uh, Bingra next Saturday in the uh, under 10s the minor semi-finals sees Bingra play Moree the major sees Warrialda play Inverell West in the 12s Warrialda will play Glen Ennis as Inverell have scored a try under the post so I'll pick up who that uh, player is in the moment butcher, butcher. Uh, it's uh, Brett Butcher uh, the under major semi-final in the 12s sees West play East the 14s Warrialda play Moree the major uh, sees Glen play Inverell West in the minor of the 16s. Glennis will play Inverell West, and in the major, Inverell East will play Warrialda. So that's next uh, Saturday at uh, Bingra for the minor and major semi finals of the uh, Group 19 Western Zone sec uh, Junior or Minor League competition. Of course, next weekend's the Bingra Cup, and uh, I'm led to believe they're hoping to uh, uh, get those uh, minor league fixtures through in time to uh, let patrons go and uh, watch the uh, uh, races uh, in their one and only race meeting of the year. Of course, a fortnight.
mate. How's that reception? Right on now, listen. Why don't I get me a piece of the paper here? I'm the uh, rookie of the year. Three to K Butcher. Uh, two to R. Craigie. And one to John and McLennan. So that's three Butcher, two Craigie, one McLennan. Okay, mate. Well, now Stephen will send these scores down here as, uh, as they happen. Right up, see ya. You want to come back up here, Rest?
Nice head of mine. Usually he sets it up on that.
Joking. She died. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.